So we're going to start with a brief about stocks, move to the crypto marketing challenges, and benchmarks and tips. So let's start with the basic. You probably ask yourself, what is stocks? Um, stocks is an open source Ethereum-based prediction markets platform where essentially any person in the world using his skill and knowledge can try to predict the outcome of any event and make a portion of the stakes uh, in a specific prediction, which means if he predicted the right outcome, he will make a profit. Um, we're also a post-ICO company. We did a successful ICO raising 150,000 ether last year on August, uh, which made us the seventh largest ICO of that year. First question you probably ask, what are prediction markets? So let's go over the exact definition. Prediction markets are exchange-traded markets created for the purpose of trading the outcome of events, and the market price of an outcome can indicate what the crowd thinks the probability of the event is. You probably confuse, so am I. We'll go to a live example. You know this player, there is the NBA playoff. Anyone not tracking NBA? It's a basketball game. Cool. Um, so you know these players. And let's say we open a prediction. Who will outscore the other on the next Cavs-Rockets match? Will it be LeBron James or James Harden? So for this prediction, we basically have three outcomes. LeBron James, James Harden, or a tie. Now in prediction markets, each one of these outcomes perform as a financial asset that can be traded, which means bought and sold throughout the prediction activity. And the price of each outcome at any given moment reflect the probability that the wisdom of the crowd think that the, that the event will occur. Now, prediction markets are also known as the wisdom of the crowd platform. Uh, under the assumption that a large group of people will always be more smarter than any individual expert when it comes to problem solving. And show me some hands. Anyone knows the story about Francis Galton and the bull? It's a wisdom of the crowd experiment. Okay, it's a really known one. I'll quickly go over it. Back on 1906, a guy named Francis Galton, which was a, which is, which was a famous statistician, participated in a contest of farmer that they were asked to try to guess the bull weight, and the one that will guess it right will win prizes. Um, as you can imagine, none of the experts of the people participated. There were 800 of these. No one guessed the exact weight. But Francis Galton had a great idea. He said, let's take the 800 answers, and let's do an average to all of them and see what will happen. And the results were amazing. The average was 543.4 kilogram, and the actual weight of the bull was 547.5 kilogram. Other than the fact that it's very close, it was also the closest answer to the actual bull weight. And this was basically the first evident about the fact that the wisdom of the crowd will always be more smart, will, will always be more accurate than any individual. Now. It's nice, and I'm, I said it for um, a good reason, because we did our own wisdom of the crowd experiment here at the crowd conference. We opened the sponsor prediction at the stocks platform, uh, and the winner will get 1,000 STX. And it's kind of a tricky one, because it's in my favor, and, I, and we asked, how loud will the decibel be from the applause for stocks CMO speech, my speech, at the conference? Your CR CEO uh, is sitting here with the decibel meter, so when I'm finishing, and I want to remind you again, just clap, and we'll see who will win. Um, you're all also welcome. Go to stocks.com, S-T-O-X.com right now. You just need to log in with an email. You don't need to put any money in, no deposit. Tap on this prediction. Guess what will happen. And if you'll win, you'll get 1,000 STX, which is our token. Speak about it in a minute. Back to stocks. So. Let's talk about our token. Powering Stocks is the STX token. It's the only form of fee, collateral, and the currency to wager into prediction event. If you are using the Stocks platform, you can use it only with STX token. No USD, no Bitcoin, only this. And we like to call it as a single token economy. Now, people always ask us, and other companies that did ICO, why blockchain? So I summarized it in the three main reasons. One of them is transparency. By utilizing blockchain technology, 
no manipulation can affect the system, nor the results of a prediction. In, in, in blockchain, by the way, any user knows what he owns at any given moment. The second thing is trust. In the centralized prediction markets, a group of people named Oracle are in charge of settling the prediction outcome, and, and the, the Oracle are also being overseen by each other and gain reputation. And the last one, no middlemen. Stocks allow peer-to-peer -peer transaction, and by this, reducing costs to the user. So this was a quick brief about stocks. I wanted you to know what we are doing, participate in the prediction. And now we'll start speaking about marketing. Now, in general, the way I like to see any marketeer uh, mission or task is like taking a missile, launch it, and land it on the moon. So I'll show it uh, as an example of stocks. First of all, we build a multi-stage rocket. So when you're doing an ICO, you first of all need to have a concept and conduct a private sell. This is what we like to call the takeoff stage. Then you're doing the crowd sell. And the crowd sell is the stage that you are gaining speed and height toward the moon. And then, um, sorry, and then you do, after a successful uh, crowd sell, you build your product and a stage that we like to call appreciate your token. And this is the stage that you are leaving gravity and fly to the moon. Now, when doing all these uh, stages, you need to navigate your missile to the moon, which stands for you need to understand which countries you want to, uh, you want to market it, which audience you want to get to your project, et cetera, et cetera, which languages, and this is navigation to the moon, and then safely land it on the moon, which is validating that you did everything right. And of course, we're speaking about marketing, so let the world know about every step of our journey. Um, next, I like to speak about the mission specialist, the marketeer. So I think that there are three main personas for CMOs and for marketeers in general. There is the artist, who is all about creativity. There is the shrink, better know your audience in a deep and intimate way. And Mr. Science, which is the analytic persona. Now, you all have some background in marketing here. I, I don't know anyone that has these three skills, but as a project leader, as someone that wants to launch an ICO or run it, you need to understand which persona you want for the marketing job because it will affect your project success, your go-to-market strategy, and many other decisions that you will have to take during the way. Let's speak about top of the funnel strategy. All of you here probably have some sort of a project you need to build your top of the funnel strategy, and I'll quickly show how it looks with stocks. You probably don't know, but our vision is to gap between the mainstream and the crypto world. And eventually, when we, wa we want to get more STX hodlers, it's not a typing mistake, it's how you pronounce it in crypto, we want to bring as many people to hold our token. Now, in order to get them, we need, first of all, to bring them to our community. So we bring in people to the community and then using techniques to convert them to become STX hodlers. Layer above the community, crypto enthusiastic. So if we'll be able to find where to target crypto enthusiastics, they will probably be more easy to convert them to our community and then to become hodlers. Above them are the traders and gamblers, which are um, people that interact online, pay money to do services and activity we find that they are the, the next layer to convert to crypto enthusiastic and down the drain. Now, I'm standing up here for, for a second. All the layers here what is like what we call the marketing machine. You can use marketing agency to tackle each one of these layers. But there is another strategy that you can implement. If you put the mainstream here, then instead of tackling each one of these layers, you can start your advertising up here and then drill down to STX order, and you need to define this strategy because you need to understand which messages you need to provide to each layer. So this is marketing, and now we're going to speak about crypto marketing challenges. Everybody here, I hope that they know the big players in the advertising field, Google, Facebook, and the rest. Let's call it like this. But there is a huge changes in the crypto market today. And Facebook or Google are out of the game. Facebook already uh, banning advertising, adver advertisement of crypto, and Google will be out by June. And not just them. Other major players are leaving. Twitter, 
LinkedIn, there are rumors that it will stop. I don't know who is using MailChimp here, but they will stop your account 1st of May. And we ask ourselves, and you ask ourselves, what's now? What does it leave us with? So we actually see an opportunity in all this move. And we think you need to approach it with data. You need to do it with high quality content and via specialized media channels. And I'll elaborate on each one of them. So we call it open the door with data. You have a lot of data source next to you, like website visitors, social groups, newsletter, and other stuff that I didn't mention it. Collect, collect data from these sources, and then communicate to these databases via email marketing, retargeting through advertising channels, and if it's right for your project, use text messages to get to their phone directly. Here's an example for one of our email marketing campaigns. We send an email to a specific segment of our users with a proper value that will make them engage with our project. Win with content. Create high quality content, which stands for online interview or offline interviews, article, videos, podcast. Come speak with these uh, conferences. Um, but of course, this is only 50% of the task creating the content. You need to distribute it. And there are many ways to distribute it. Use contact platform to your community and other communities, your blog or other blogs. Here's a great example, uh, like a screenshot from our blog. You can see here a strategic partnership with other companies. You can see from the left, uh, whoever sits far there, monthly development update that we want to show the community the progress of what we are doing. And on the right side, you see, welcome to Ask Stocks 8. We're doing monthly AMA, Ask Me Anything sessions, to show the community that we are there for them. We are answering any question they might have and even know how to direct them to the right spot. And Stocks and Zap announced partnership. This is another strategic partnership from our roadmap. This is a decentralized Oracle uh, platform that we are going to outsource to. More examples. An interview with me on the Russian market this time video on YouTube explaining about our new features or just PR about the launch of our beta. Um, target specialized media channels, uh, it kind of go without saying, don't just spread money out there. First of all, understand which countries you want to focus in, like according to the type of the project and also regulation. You know, if you know a market that the regulation banning ICOs, don't advertise there. Go to more supportive market. Go to crypto specialized website, ICO Alert, ICO Bench, Crypto Ninja, Coin Telegraph, and more and more. They will bring you more specific traffic to your site. And display specialized, try to find something that fits your messages. Um, this is interesting. So, all of what I referred so far was to paid marketing, which is a valuable engine to your project. But we think in marketing, and specifically in crypto, the best way to bring users in is through your community. And I like to call it, let your users tell your story. Um, so we start with leveraging the power of your community. If anyone starts here a crypto project without the community, is making a huge mistake. Make sure you have a community. We have one on Telegram, uh, but there are other sources that you can use. And make sure for this community that it's always growing. If it's not growing, ask yourself why. If your project is interesting, it's supposed to grow all the time. Engage them. Engage your users like the things that I said before. Give them email marketing with value and other techniques to keep them engaged with your project. Constant update like the monthly development update I show you. Show them that you are working and, and there is a progress with your project. It will help you. Uh, make them attached to what you're doing. And the last element is transparency. If you're not transparent on blockchain, you can close your project. It will not work. People here, they are not professional investors. They are seeking to know what's happening with your project, project constantly. So do it all the time. These are the four elements that I think are key factor to succeed. Anyone in the crowd, I want to get you involved a bit. Anyone don't know what is bounty program? Anybody knows what is bounty program? 
Cool. On 50% are sleeping. Good. Um, so we at Stock has a, have a bounty program, and it's one of the greatest engine we have to expand our community and Stock's holders. And we have multiple uh, bounty programs. It includes our content bounty. We generate us, on average, four high-quality content articles per week. And, and we're spreading them on social, and it brings a lot of organic traffic to our project. We have the social bounty, which makes sure that stocks is being mentioned on all the social channels at any given moment. And the best one from the left is the referral bounty. The refer is the refer friend bounty. We're getting thousands of new users per week just from this. And here is a quick tip. The cost of bringing in a user from the referral bounty is like 10% of the CPA of the paid marketing campaign. So you need to know how to leverage this aspect. We also have the prediction bounty, which allows our users to suggest prediction and keeping them engaged with our project, video bounty, and the bug bounty. We have all our community doing QA for us, and we're just getting it out there for uh, really small pieces of uh, rewards back. Um, my tip for you, if you are launching a project, don't open multiple bounty programs. Try to understand what are your KPIs, what is mostly important to you, and open bounty only on this aspect. If you need to bring more users, open only a referral bounty. If you need to generate high-quality content and you don't have a content manager, open a content bounty. Don't open too many of them because it will negatively affect the one that is most important for you. People buy from people they trust. Digital influencer. Use digital influencer. It will bring traffic to your website. I hope we are in the crypto space. Everybody knows these space, uh, this, uh, faces. Charles Schramm, the twins, Vitaly, and John McAfee. This is what we call the first tier digital influencer. My tip for you, you don't need them because they will just drain your money. There is recent articles that John McAfee is taking more than $100,000 for just a tweet. There are so many second and third tier influencers out there that will be better than even this one because they know that they are advertising. What we learned in the last eight months, it's, just, it's not just about marketing techniques, it's what we called marketing visualization. If eight months ago you can just write a PDF, launch a nice looking website and then launch your ICO with millions of dollars, the market had changed. You can't do it without a product today. And this is my tip for you and I want to elaborate about how we did it at Stocks. So Stocks is lean and mean. And we are very different from other blockchain companies. We saw that most of the blockchain company post ICO are working in the let's build a great product methodology, which means go to the garage for two years, build the awesome product and then release it to the market and you know what happened? No one used it because it doesn't fit the customer needs. So they're going back to the garage and fix it and then it's a perfect recipe to burn two or three years of your project time. At Stocks, we chose the lean startup methodology approach and this approach means develop an MVP, a concept version, release it to the market, bring users in and then through their feedback understand which features you want to prioritize and develop next, and of course, in addition to all the technology behind it. And it works. We have live prediction right now with thousands of users predicting on them. You know what? Actually, Stocks is one of the few post-ICO company that has a live product in the market. And I'll tell you about our story quickly. We started during the ICO with a concept version, which was a very nice UI with a very basic engine uh, that worked. And then after two or three months after our ICO, we launched our alpha version, which was named after Francis Galton, the one with the bull and the wisdom of the crowd experiment, which include decentralized elements and better UI and more feature. And two months ago, two and a half months ago, we launched our beta, which is named after Sun Tzu, also a great statistician and the author of the book, I don't know if you know, The Art of War. Um, and this beta version is live. Um, and, and already offer you the ability to utilize SDX token, make deposits, and place a prediction in any imaginable category. So to the one that didn't participate yet in the wisdom of the crowd experiment and didn't log in, this is how our platform looks like. This is 
the main markets page with all the predictions. And then if you tap on one of the predictions, you'll get their information. You choose your answer. You wager the amount you want to uh, put in the prediction. And then slide the predict button to the, to the right. And voila, you have your first prediction placed. It's that easy. In addition, we allow you the Stocks Beta allows you to open a blockchain wallet, an ERC20 wallet on our platform, allow you to make deposit wallet to wallet. And we will be probably one of the, will be the first to market to offer an online payment page uh, from fiat currency to STX online. And this will also get, get the mainstream uh, come and m be more interested in our website. Of course, you can redraw your money if you want. And all the account log and management. This is one of the most interesting stuff. I'm going to expo expose the number that we have to you, first of all, because it's blockchain and we believe in transparency, but also for you to be able to benchmark your number. If you don't have any number, just get a glimpse into the number. Um, just don't forget we are a post-ICO company and not a pre-ICO company. Let's start with user retention. Stocks has more than 1,000 new user registering to its sites every day. Uh, on February, which was a record month for us, we had more than 2,000 of them. We have more than 100,000 registered users on our platform and more than 30,000 monthly active users. This was written uh, one week ago. Um, at least 1,000 users are opening a prediction on our site every day, and more than 2,000 predictions are being opened every day. Our CPA only for paid marketing campaign and not combining all the organic traffic is around $5. Um, and in terms of STX usage, STX, the utility of the token, I wrote here almost 1 million STX. Um, the right number for right now is 1.5 million STX deposited. More than 1,500 users did it with an average deposit of around 600 STX. We have 20,000 blockchain wallet open on our, uh, opened on our website, 7% conversion rate between wallet holders and depositors, and around 350 new wallets are being opened per day. Last thing about stats is the top country. So we have a variety of countries because we are trying out new countries all the time. We want to understand where is the strongest crypto community. Um, so you can see here, Russia, Japan, United Kingdom, China, South Korea, India, and more. If anyone wants more data, you can email me. We can speak after my talk. I'll be, able to elab I'll be happy to elaborate more. This is how I'm going to finish my talk. This is the most interesting and promising thing that we are doing, and we call it the ICO sponsor predictions. Um, so any pre-ICO, post-ICO, or just a crypto company should be very interesting in this. Um, we basically allow mainly pre-ICO companies to super launch their project by harnessing the wisdom of the crowd on the stocks platform. Um, any, just for me to know, any ICO companies in the crowd? You don't, I'm scanning you. No ICOs? I hope that they are. So listen carefully how it works. It's very easy. Um, we place your ICO prediction on our platform. And then the content of this prediction is going to be decided according to your KPI. So if your KPI, for example, is to bring as many investors as possible to your ICO, we can ask something like from the left, how fast will your project reach its hard cap in your upcoming token sale? Now, the way pred prediction markets work is that all our users that want to participate in this prediction will go and conduct a research about your project because they want to focus right. And by doing this research, your project is being exposed to more than 100,000 of our users, which include crypto enthusiasts and potential investors. And the second thing, it will also, el <coughs> it will also, sorry, it will also help you create a secondary market for your project. And this is one of the things that we studied. You want to have as many token holders as you can after the ICO to, to get more involved in your project and help you push it. Now, the only thing you need to do in order to place a prediction on our site is to sponsor a price pool of your token and ours. This price is being used to incentivize the user 
to do the research and to expose them to your project, and they will win actual tokens uh, through these predictions. Here's a partial list of the partners that already work with us and are working with us. Um, and you know, if you're a pre-ICO, post-ICO, if you're a marketing agency, you should definitely come and speak with us after my talk, and we can see if we can cooperate in a unique and innovative way. Let's quickly summarize all this speech. Marketing become harder, still possible. Google and Facebook are out, and other major players are leaving this industry. The key success factors, approach it with data. Create high quality content, specialized media uh, to use, community, build your community and make it grow. Make a bounty program. Um, it's not written here about marketing visualization. Have a product to, uh, to support what you're saying. And what we discuss right now, stock sponsor prediction. Take part of it. You are more than welcome to join our growing community with our stocks users that we spoke, our Telegram with 10,000, Twitter 15,000, and again, constant update about our progress. Um, and if we have time for some questions, I'm here. I always like to wrap out with this. We have to go back, Marty. Save the world. No, buy Bitcoin. Um, thank you very much.